Sometimes, I have no other choice. Sometimes they deserve it. Sometimes I just felt like it. We all like to be the bad guy from time to time. I'm Eleva, and this is my top 5 most satisfying dark side choices in Star Wars The Old Republic. If you're new here, then make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future videos. I am not cute. I am deadly. Since some of these choices are part of the personal storylines, a spoiler alert is in effect. Number 5. Your bounty hunter hitting an old Iranian noble. You have been given a new target for the great hunt. A duke among the nobles of Alderaan. But Alderaan is unlike any prior hunting ground, so we have to play it nice and we have to play it diplomatic, which means we gotta play delivery service for Zavarin Malthus the Seventh to gain his information. Yeah, that's his name. That is quite tough since he's insufferable, rude, and super condescending, especially if you're an alien. He's an absolute R2 D bag. So, be giving a dark side option to punch him <laughs> is like the most satisfying ever. Honor dictates this message must stay in my care until I give it to someone of rank, not a trained Thranta. Look, I have here tokens of respect for my peers, a mission for a page. Deliver them and earn a ten year old's honor, then I can speak to you. I'm not your serving girl. No, you're less than that, if anything. This is why we don't trust the ill-bred with even tasks of menial honor. If you have no honor and will not prove yourself, I have no reason to further tolerate your presence. I've got a reason right here. Ow, I bet that hurt. Oh! You struck me! How dare you! Number 4. Punching Suresh I think most of you, even being a super light side party pooper just like me, can agree that punching Suresh feels pretty awesome. Our distaste happens quite early, especially as a Republic player, since we get to see more of her funny enough. We see the micro manipulations and all out lust for conquest later on Sciest. But that does not give her the right to move in on our turf as fast as she's trying during Knights of the Eternal Empire, Chapter 2. This was a mistake. Granted, I could have chosen to kill her here, but as I said, I'm a light side party pooper and proud of it, so punching her felt great in itself. I assume you know everything, then. I'll take that as a yes. It doesn't matter. The Alliance needs a leader like me. I saw an opportunity and I took it. I won't apologize for that. Number 3. Chopping off their heads. The expansion of Onslaught gave us plenty of awesome dark side options, it was really tough to choose between them. Whether you're an Imperial Saboteur or just a super dark sider, if you're getting an option to thin out the Dark Council, shouldn't you take the opportunity then? It gives the feeling of UNLIMITED POWER! Or it's simply just less prying eyes, even though I do like some of these characters, like Vauron. At the end of Meg Shaw, you can go all Red Queen on them and signal to Lana, OFF WITH THEIR HEADS! The cutscene, the shock, and the aftermath is absolutely worth it. Lana? I believe we're done here. What? What about Meksha? It's yours. Enjoy.
I take it there have been some developments. A little side note. If you sided with the Republic on Iocath as an Imperial, Asdina is no longer in the picture, which means there has to be another Emperor or Empress, which became Baron, so he would not be in this room. So you would only have to deal with Darth Shaw. Number 2. Killing King Petrif of Onderon. Well, this is a no-brainer, really. I'm sure most of us spend our time on Onron as an Imperial player, mocking King Petrif. He's almost as insufferable and self-deluded as an old Iranian nobleman. Hint hint, notch notch. Again, whether you are a saboteur or just a super dark side party pooper, you get the opportunity to help the king or simply get rid of him. I could have included Senator Nebet of the Republic as well in this choice, but killing him in front of her is the most satisfying feeling ever, and it is the most badass to just walk away from the Senator with an ominous message of, you'll know. Who's there? Show yourself! Onderon is safe, Senator. That's all you need to know. I don't understand! You will. Soon. Before we get to the number one spot, here's a few honorable mentions. I fought in the war before and I'll fight again, but I don't do suicide missions. Suicide was deciding that you could ignore your superiors. But first, I could use a hand over here. Let me out. Please. Stay in there a while. Think about that attitude of yours. And what about him? He's useless to us. Kill him. Ah! Holiday. I'm sorry. Holiday? What a weirdo. Before we get to the number one spot, be sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss out on future content. And if you like this video, then please consider giving it a thumbs up. It actually helps me out a lot. Now let's get to the number one spot. Number one. Killing Skadge. This should not come as a surprise. If you know me, you also know how much I hate Sketch. Although I do love his amazing voice actor, Neil Kaplan. So, shout out to you, Neil. During Knights of the Fallen Empire, you get this as a recruitment option, along with Rusk from the Jedi Knight storyline. You can get a few different outcomes from this, so of course you can also get different achievements from this. It's of course great to get all of the achievements, but let's face it, we just want to kill him. I am willing to go super dark side, even on the most light side character, just to kill this waste of space, irredeemable, psychopathic moron. I just love killing him every time. Sorry, not sorry. Only need one lung to kill you. Just gotta catch my breath. <laughs> I ain't beat while I'm still breathing. Better hope I. This was my top five most satisfying dark side choices. Did you agree? Did I miss any? I bet you have some favorite dark side choices of your own, so let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. I'd like to thank my absolute amazing patrons for their continued support. I really do appreciate it. If you would like to become a patron for as little as $1 a month, then links and more details can be found in the description down below. Bye!